Well, we are almost heading to the weekend, and our drought worries seem to be going away, but uh, it might take a little more to get rid of them completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. A lot of our area still, actually majority of us out of that drought, which is really okay. good, but still a decent amount of us kind of in that dry um, category as far as that drought. But also keep in mind today, it did take a little bit longer for that rain to clear fully out of the area, so it is possible that by next week when that drought monitor updates again, we could see a couple of those more southeastern areas um, out of those dry conditions. We'll look at that in a second. Here's what it looks like outside of Mankato. Pretty quiet night. A lot of that rain now pretty much gone. We're left with drier conditions heading into our Friday, but we're not completely done yet. Still a chance of seeing some showers, especially later on tomorrow. Right now, though, 51 degrees out there are winds out of the southwest around 5 to 10 miles an hour, which is a little bit of a break from the breezy conditions that we've had throughout most of this upcoming or this previous week. Visibility looks good tomorrow morning, though. We could see a couple of areas of fog just due to the lack of wind and how much moisture we now have on the ground. So be on the lookout for that tomorrow morning. Temperature is still falling fairly quickly, especially for out towards the west. I mentioned this a little bit earlier, especially Slayton, Worthington. They are seeing fairly clear skies now that the that system has fully cleared out of its region. So that area cooling off pretty quickly and the rest of us will likely follow suit once those clouds continue to push the rest of the way out of our area. And as we go into tomorrow, we are expecting temperatures to warm up a little bit. We'll be back in the 70s for the most part tomorrow. Brief cool down into Saturday and that's due to a smaller cold front making its way through in between those days. And as we go into the second half of the weekend, warming right back up Sunday, we're expected to see a lot of sunshine. That's going to be a really nice change of pace compared to what we've had recently. And then heading into Monday, that will also be a nice warm day for a lot of us. Um, it's very likely a couple of us could be reaching into the 80s that day. And then we'll be near normal as we head into the rest of that week. Here's that drought monitor I was mentioning. As we can see, most of our area perfectly normal. I haven't seen clear conditions on this drought monitor in months. Um, I would maybe even go out on a limb and say, a year um, it's been since I've seen no color for the majority of us, but that southeastern corner still seeing a decent amount of dry conditions. But like I had mentioned, it's possible a couple of these places will continue to update um, next week on Thursday when this the newest drought monitor comes out um, that following week. Radar and satellite now again still showing some of that rain moving through um, our neighboring states and also further up towards the north. But here at home in southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, not really seeing a whole lot out there. A couple of showers still lingering over the last few hours, but now we're finally starting to see those drier conditions. Friday, we're expecting some really nice conditions later in the evening and overnight into Saturday. We'll likely see some more showers making their way through. But the good thing with that is that most of those showers will move through. Saturday morning and then that later half of Saturday will likely look a lot better and then heading into Sunday too. Personally, I'm excited for Sunday because I see the big yellow sun and mm -hmm. that's my favorite icon to put. That is a beautiful <laughs> thing. I know a lot of people celebrate right with you. Oh yeah. Thank you, Emily. Sports is up next.